field. So the key is to recognize that it's in that quadratic form, and you can do that by looking at the middle term. If you notice that that middle term's exponent is half of that leading term's exponent, then you know you've got a quadratic uh, trinomial on your hands. So say for example number two, you can see this is x plus three to the first, this is x plus three squared. Notice that this middle uh, exponent is half of this leading term's exponent. Same thing here, you have x to the fourth, that's half of uh, eight. C4 is half of eight, so we know it's a uh, in quadratic forms. Now there's two different methods. One method is where you can make a u substitution. So I'll show you that method first. And what you do is you let u equal that middle group. So I'm gonna say let u equal x to the one half power. And so now if we let u equal x to the one half power, we have minus u minus 12, and this is gonna be u squared. Because if you think about u squared equals x to the one half to the second power, power to power you multiply, that's gonna give you uh, x to the first. So now when we look at this, it's much easier to uh, recognize and much easier to factor. You can see that this is gonna be u minus four times u plus three. Notice the negative four times positive three gives us negative 12. The negative four u and the positive three u add up to the middle term negative one u, and then u times u is u squared. Now at this point, since everything was in terms of x, not u, you can go back and say, well, hmm, u equals x to the one half. Let me put that back in place of u. So x to the one half minus four and x to the one half plus three. Now, if you wanted to take it one step further, if this was an equation, like it was equal to zero, then you could take each group and set each group equal to zero and solve that equation. Let's go to example number two, see if you can do this one. So this one, what I would do if I was doing a u substitution is I would say let u equal this middle group here, x plus three. So that means that we have minus two u, minus 15, and then this is u squared. So now all we have to do is say what two quantities multiply to negative 15 but add to negative two, and we can see that's gonna be negative five and positive three. But because we know that u is equal to x plus three, we can put that back in place of u. Okay, so x plus three minus five, and this would be x plus three plus three, which simplifies down to x minus two and x plus six. So you've got that one. Now let's look at number three, the last one. At this point, you probably can recognize a quicker way of doing this. You can say to yourself, well, hmm, I recognize that x to the fourth is half of uh, x to the eighth, or I should say four is half of eight. So when I factor this, I'm gonna go right to x to the fourth and x to the fourth, because when you multiply and you have the same base, you add the exponents, four plus four gives us eight. Now we just have to say what two numbers multiply to 12 but add to seven, that's gonna be four and three. And if you wanna double check your work, you can see you've got four x to the fourth, three x to the fourth, which adds up to seven x to the fourth. Four times three is 12, and x to the fourth times x to the fourth is x to the eighth and you've got it. If it was an equation, if it was equal to zero, you could set each group equal to zero and then solve. If you wanna see a lot more examples about all different kinds of factoring, I did a video called Learn How to Factor and it goes through this type as well as other types that you need to know in terms of factoring. Check out that video I did right there. Subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.